Uh, so the first thing we're going to look at is um, this is Management Studio. Uh, you have to have a full version of SQL Server to do it, so that's your first step. If we go into uh, tools up here at the top, one of the options there is the SQL Server Profiler. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that right now, um, and so you can see what it looks like. Came up on my other monitor, so I'll give you just a second. I'll move it up there, but it won't let me move it while it's not logged in. You guys need to see this though. Okay, so you're gonna—it's gonna come up to a, a big blank window, which I'll move up in just a second. But you're gonna get these options right here at the start, with um, which basically says, um, "What do you want to trace?" And so we're just gonna call this test the name of the trace and you can use the standard uh, template or you can use a tuning template um, either one of those will have basically the same uh, the settings that you need in order to do database tuning um, I'm gonna just leave it on standard um, like I say you can do uh, the uh, tuning as well but uh, standard does a couple more it shows a little bit more information so um, I usually use that um, it's not necessary. I think tuning kind of trims out a few things, but so you just set what you want to use and that's really about it. And then uh, we're going to go in. This is what it actually, what that standard set is, is it tells us what it's going to log. Uh, so this, this tells us all that information. So then we can just go ahead and, and we don't even need to look at that. We can just, uh, before we do that, we do want to save it to a file because we're going to analyze this file. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and, and put it on my desktop in a tracing folder, and we're just going to, it's just going to be called test.trace. And we hit save there. I usually change this maximum file size from five to fifty. Um, it's just going to, uh, if you leave it at five, and you do a very long profile, it's going to grow massive quickly. So I usually don't like to do that. I'll, I'll like I say I usually set it to fifty. That's pretty decent size. The time that we're going to do is probably not even going to hit that 50 meg limit. So, um, but even even a fairly long tracing or profiling session uh, won't go over a couple hundred megs. So 50 is pretty good. But if, if you find that it's, it's making a whole bunch of files there and you don't want that, then you can make it bigger. Uh, so and we're going to go ahead and hit start. And now this is what will start showing up on the profiler view, is basically everything that's happening on the SQL server is, is now being logged and stored in that file. You can see it's doing a whole bunch of weird things that we don't really care about. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over and go into positive and go ahead and just do whatever we want to profile. So. Um, we were talking about inventory being slow. So if you pull up the inventory list, uh, and then you guys were saying that if you scroll through it, that's, that's mostly what caused the problem. So we just do a little bit of scrolling through there. Um, arrow down, arrow up, you know. Yeah, arrow down, arrow up, page up, page down. The things you might do in that window. So it's gonna load all that data and kind of do the things and kind of stress the system the way that uh, that's causing some problems. May open up your uh, inventory list a few times because it's kind of slow. So I just go ahead and close, open it, and close it, just to get, kind of give the SQL server an idea of what you're trying to speed up. Um, so whatever I do, I try and do three or four times. Um, you know, kind of just scroll through. This is what we we're complaining about. And then we're done. So then we're going to go back to the profiler, which is right here. It's still logging stuff, but this is all the all the things that it's done in that time frame. So we're going to go ahead and stop it. Now, one of the things you can do if you notice a specific thing is slow is you can actually go in and watch this and find out which specific thing is taking a long time. I find it's kind of hard with the way that Clarion works. Most of these are not simple. Um, Executions are these weird cursor fetch things that are kind of hard to, to troubleshoot. Here's, here's one that's fairly normal. 
Um, it's just getting prices by INVNO. Um, there's another one doing the same thing. Um, yeah, so you can kind of see some of the stuff that it's doing. But what, what's really powerful here is that we can take the tools and we can run the database tuning advisor. And uh, if we go ahead and, yeah, just connect to that. And we're going to say we only want to tune the PDA database. That's what I was doing there. Uh, the database for workload analysis is also PDA. We're going to use this as our file that we're analyzing. And that should be all we need to do. And then we go ahead and hit start analysis. And like I said, this is the part that'll take a few minutes. Um, it actually, with what we did, I don't think it'll take too long. I'm on a pretty fast machine here, so um, we can go ahead and just let that run. Uh, and you can see it's 85% complete with our analysis here, so it's moving right along. This is finished up while we were working, and it does have some recommendations for us. So um, the ones we're really, that are really going to make the biggest improvement are the indexes. So it, it's telling us it, that it thinks we should put an index on a couple indexes on notes, um, an index on IT price, an index on item count, um, items, and you can actually look at the details for these indexes. And um, I think if you is it if you double click on them, you may actually have to script them first. But either way, we don't really care. Um, you don't really care about the details of indexes. What we really care about is that this is going to improve performance. And it says the estimated improvement is 7%. That's it's not a lot, but it might make a difference. So um, what we want to do is there are two things that you can do with these. You can either go ahead and apply them right now. So you just click on this button that says apply recommendations. Now, that's a fine thing to do. And if it's a procedure that you, most people aren't doing or they have a data set that most people don't have, uh, that's probably okay to just do that. But if it's something that you think affects a lot of people, you can go ahead and hit the save recommendations. And again, we'll go ahead and just put it on the desktop. We'll call it test profile. And it's going to save it as an SQL file. And um, what it's going to do is it's going to save all these scripts. So I'll go ahead and, and pull that up for you so you can see what it looks like. So it's just a bunch of create these indexes. And some of them are create statistics. And statistics just help the SQL server um, know details about your data so it, it can better uh, manage that or, or better filter through data and when it creates its own indexes, it's, it's going to know what the data looks like. So if there's a lot of nulls in there, um, it, it can handle that. So those, those are good to have, but they don't, they don't provide an immediate benefit to us. Um, Dan has his hand up. Sure. Go um, ahead, Dan. I hope this, yeah, thank you. I hope this isn't obvious, but why doesn't positive do this for everything to make the most efficient, fastest system on the block. Why well, do we have so, to? Do so, that? so here's the question. The, the question is not um, why doesn't positive do this? Because this is actually a pretty complicated thing for positive to do. Um, you know, we're not. We don't write an SQL manager. We we write a point of sale application and. Um, the work that the profiler and the database tuning advisor do is not something that positive could do. I and mean, we don't have the resources to write an application that profiles and tunes databases. <laughs> that's, that's not our, our job. Now, um, we do always want to improve our indexing and improve the things that, that we're indexing. Now, here's, here's the problem. Um, these indexes will actually take time to create and to maintain. So if we just indexed everything and said, um, you know, we want to be able to, to have an index for everything, uh, what happens is it actually ends up slowing things down um, because <laughs> it has to create indexes and it has to um, find out which index to use. And if there's indexes on everything, then 
it doesn't help us at all. So what we're doing is we're finding the, the areas that need um, indexes and we're creating them on those. And that's what this helps us do is find those, those trouble spots. So um, something like that 7% we'll ignore, but if something comes up and says 60%, we want to well, address that, right? We might ignore I, this. This might make a big difference. So we'll go ahead and apply this and see what happens in positive, see if it makes a big difference. Because 7% is not necessarily 7% uh, of – it's 7% it's of the time that was spent doing stuff in the profiler. So uh, that might end up being, making a big difference in positive. Okay. Um, and the, and so, the other question I have is, uh -huh. let's supposing we do this on uh -huh. our system and uh -huh. we say go ahead and execute – the SQL huh? script that increases the indexes, then John gives us an update. Does that update overwrite the scripts for indexing? That is a good question. Um, I know he didn't used to. I know that he might want to. Um, so that's, that's one of the reasons why I say um, it's good to give these to us. So if even if it doesn't make a big improvement, if it makes an improvement for you, go ahead and give us the, the indexes so that we can look at them and see if they are something that we can add to everyone's um, copy of positive. And then they wouldn't get overwritten. They would get updated, and, and we'd maintain those and, and help make everyone's life better. Uh, but again, there are some situations where you know if someone has a, you know, a billion notes and they need some specific indexes on their notes table, but most people don't have you know, right. they might have a, a couple thousand notes, and the same indexes just don't apply. Uh, also, indexes do take up space in your database. So if we were to index everything, you might only have 100 megs of data, but you might have uh, a gig in indexes. Got it. And, and so it can really increase the size of your database, too, and so you're then pushing the limits again. And um, well, I'd, I'd like to just give you an example. Okay. Um, in one of the releases, the customers trying to do a sales order would almost take 30 to 45 seconds going yep. from line to line. Yep. And they were the only customer. Nobody else had right. this problem. So right. I sent it to John. He looked at it and found out that this customer had multiple locations and items in these locations and because there was no index on locations it brought the yeah. system to a crawl he made that index instantly it went fast as lightning again right so yep. I'm, I'm a believer in indexing <laughs> yeah oh yeah yeah it can make it can make all the difference in the world um, I know Richard at one point also found um, a tool that would let would tell you give you recommendations based on your previous usage rather than actually having to profile an activity would say you know you've been using positive for this long we've kept statistics and and all that and it would give you some recommendations that way but um, I don't remember the details on that so maybe when we're done here if if Richard can comment on that that might be good because I don't remember the details on that but that might be something that you know as as dealers that that you can use to you know, you know, either sell them a, a service where you go out and apply those indexes every year or something like that, um, or maybe you just offer that to them to you know help speed up things. Now, I was going to mention one other thing, is that indexes can also uh, it might put indexes on things that that you don't necessarily want indexes on. The database tuning advisor is pretty good about not creating um, unique indexes, which would possibly prevent data from being created in positive. But uh, you do have to kind of keep an eye out for that. And one of the things that we may have you do is is clear the indexes because they're, it's not allowing data to be written. Uh, because you can create indexes that are unique and it's like a key and when you try and add a, a duplicate record it will fail and that duplicate record may not actually be a duplicate record um, it may just be that the 
for some reason, like I say, the database tuning advisor is pretty good at that, but if you went and looked at um, the profiler and just said, hey, it looks like we're doing a lot of queries on this, I'm going to go ahead and create an index, and um, it, it, if it's a unique index, like I say, that can cause problems. But if you're using the database tuning advisor, you're usually okay. So what I'm going to say right now is I'm going to go ahead and run the um, run the uh, apply these recommendations, and we'll see if if it makes any difference. It just takes a second. You can see most of these are actually pretty small. The biggest one is only you know three megs worth of indexes, so it's not like it's going to fill up my database or anything. Um, my database isn't that big, anyways, but um, so it, it, it's now gone and applied those. Uh, so if we go back into positive, so I don't know, scrolling up and down, seems about the same to me. Maybe it's a little faster. Oh, it grew like crazy. But it may have made a difference. Opening and closing, might be able to see if that's any different. I don't know, seemed about the same to me. Didn't notice a huge difference, but Again, if, if, there were, if that, that other thing that you were talking about where the sales order had, was taking a long time, that one you would have seen instantaneous results. You went ahead and put those indexes in and immediately you would have seen it comes right up. It doesn't take any time at all. So um, anyways, that's how profiling works. That's how you apply the recommendations. And looks like Richard actually sent me um, a link to this. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll see if I can pull that up and I'll see if I can show you guys that. Gary has his hand up, but I cannot unmute him for some reason. So he's self-muted, that's why. Oh. I am self-muted. <laughs> um, I think Dan pretty much answered most of my, or, or asked most of the questions. Uh, but I guess just for clarification, um, the indexes that Positive does build, are, are they the same, are, are they basically indexes that you know need to be made and these are in addition to those? Correct, so yep. Profiler does is in addition to those? Yep, yeah, so so the ones that, that Positive has built in are, are the ones that we've either found or, you know, like, Dan found that one. I would bet that John actually put that index in. I don't know that for sure, but um, usually, if if John if John tells you to add an index or gives you a script to add an index, he's added that to his procedure as well. So, um, yeah. so these are the the two sides. It looks like uh, Brent Ozar is the one that um, came up with these, um, and he's got a little YouTube video to watch. Um, I, I can put these in the dealer chat, actually. That's probably a good place for those. If you want to run those sometime and see. Um, I don't have much experience with them, but they they could be very useful. And like I say, Richard's used them, I know. So so if you guys want to, to look at those, again, that's another um, way that as people use their their program, this it, it, it builds up statistics and things like that. And so... If they rebooted their server every night, then this wouldn't be very effective. But if they leave their server on all the time, leave their SQL server running all the time, this will could be very effective at making the system much faster. So if you're having trouble with someone being, with things being slow, this might be a good way to, you know, maybe improve performance for them. So um, other than that, like I say, that's the main thing that, that I use is that the database tuning advisor. So that's what I would say. Give you a few options. <laughs>